Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to KT Garage. This is part 11 of the Humvee Recon Project. So today, I'm just gonna uh, pick up where I left off yesterday on part 10, which, uh, which is I was working on the interior. Uh, so uh, first thing first, uh, I'm, I wanna get the uh, outdoor activity done because it's about to rain and I, I wanted to do some cutting. So um, at some point I need to put in some cup holders so might as well just cut these to size now uh, when the weather is cooperating right now. Uh, this is a four inch exhaust pipe from my uh, diesel F-250. I have some leftover pieces. So I'm gonna cut a couple of these pieces and get on there. Four inches is kind of big, but you know what? I, I, I drink a lot of coffee and I, my cups are big. So, uh, so that, that'll work just fine now. I want to have one of those four inch and one of these uh, three inch. So I have options of putting like water bottle or whatever uh, for the smaller one. So there'll be a big one and a small one. And I'm gonna do the same thing for passenger side. So uh, they can have their the big Coke bottle or whatever and, and the water bottle as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get that cut outside and get that done before uh, it rains. Well, here we go, guys. I got all four of these, cut the length, looking great. That chop saw over there is great for uh, doing any kind of cutting with tubings. You really ought to own one of these if you work with metals. They cut real straight lined, uh, the, the diamond wheel, so uh, they make a really nice cold cut. Uh, not a whole, whole lot of uh, sparks or anything uh, come flying. So uh, I really like it. I use it all the time cutting any kind of tubings. All right, so I, I made uh, pretty good pro progress with this side already. You can see that this middle section already been closed in. The welds doesn't look too good. It's all stitched for right now because I don't want anything to warp. All that's gonna be grounded down and, and filled with Bondo before I spray, spray paint it, so. Uh, yeah, that's that's how uh, it's gonna the uh, interior on the driver side is gonna look like. Like I say, it's gonna be a bunch of gauges and switches and all that good stuff is gonna go here. Now I'm gonna go to the other side and start working on the passenger side so I can like connect this side to that side and put a little bit of a dash here, and that'll be it. Now this middle console is completely removable. You can see this. Uh, this place is where I bolted down. I only put a couple of uh, bolts down, but you can see like this mo multiple locations. And then I also bolt these in into the front dash in multiple locations as well. And then this piece is coming off too. So um, it's all it's, it's all starting to come together. Uh, when I when I weld, I want to make sure that I put the bolts on and secure all the pieces, make sure they're all lined up before I stitch weld it. So it should like fit perfectly when I take it off and put it back on. I made some more progress. Looking from the back of the center console, this is what it's going to look like. And um, I got this other side. Uh, fab as well. So now I connected the, bo the both sides. You can see that I drill on tap again with like all these bolts Just so when I weld it, I know everything fit perfectly. So now this whole piece is removable Now I'm gonna go ahead and close this up so that things don't move around but um I got this already pre-cut ready to go Go ahead and weld that in. So on this side, there'll be, I think cup holders probably look better in the front or it's, it's more convenient. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a 
a couple of those uh, cup holders over there. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take this thing out when I put cup holders in because it doesn't need to be in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and have a piece that go this way that's connecting the, uh, to the center console. So that's gonna come up like that. So now you're gonna see like kind of a triangle shape dash. And matter of fact, that's probably the only dash, true dash that's gonna be just this little triangle thingy. And then of course, you know, up here will be the dash, but like it's towards the outside of the windshield. So kind of a simple setup, but it's really cool because I definitely can have a lot of different gauges and equipment, things like that. Um, I'm gonna put a stereo here. It sh should fit just fine. Yeah, it's getting there. I'm, I'm really happy with uh, with the progress so far. Well, we're getting there. So this side is pretty much completed. I closed up this side, just a little piece to go. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time for today. If you can see, all this already been closed up. Here's a shot from our back. You can see the driver's side has tons of room. Our passenger side, a little tight, but still there's a lot of room for armrests and cup holders and, and things like that. So overall, it's not too bad at all. Well, guys, uh, this is as far as I can push for, for this week. It's uh, Sunday afternoon. I got a bunch of family stuff to take care of. So I'm gonna call it for the week. I'm, I'm gonna post this so you guys uh, know what I've been up to the last couple of days. So uh, I won't get a chance to work on, on the project again until uh, this upcoming weekend. I'm just gonna keep at it, keep working on it. The interior made so much progress on it. I'm very happy with it. So uh, next week, we I'm just gonna tie everything together and then um, start closing up the front and then start moving towards the back and closing that that up as far as interior goes i really appreciate you guys tuning in to kt garage if you like the content please like and subscribe thank you